It's rare to meet you during the daytime, but um, it's Sunday. Let's go see what everyone else is doing. Well, actually, wait, did I already talk to everyone, I think? On the next episode of Phoenix Ranger Featherman R, episode 44, Demon Robot Tanika Danger Featherman R. And now the news. The Abbey Syndrome still has no... Yeah, yeah, we know. It has no cure. Oh yeah, now I remember. Um, we just got done with the dialogue between uh, Yukari and Mitsuru, and I'm wondering if they're still in their in that room or if they're hanging out right now. Also, I think I'll see if there's uh, Fuka is not in, obviously. Agus, well, no, of course Agus isn't in her room. She's not in her room either, apparently. How about Mitsuru? Oh, none of them are there, apparently. Maybe they're upstairs. Uh, I want to see those new recordings too because it's been a while since I checked. Maybe there's something and I don't realize it. Of course, if they're up here, then I can't watch recordings for some reason. No, there's nothing. Kind of disappointed. I'll assume it's true, and you carry aren't here, even though they just were. Anyway, let's go out for the day and see what I can do. I'm assuming the game will be coming to a close within the next 10 to 20 parts. I'm not really sure exactly how many. I'm not sure exactly if New Year's will be like the end or if there's something else that'll happen. I'm not 100% sure. Let's go outside for the day. See who there is. Anybody to hang out with? Well, there's the dying kid. There's uh, not many people when I think about it. Say we go to Polonia Mall quickly just to look around for a heck of it. Maybe I'll talk to everyone and see if someone has a tile, but I'm I'm not even gonna kill myself on that one. Let's see, who do we have hanging around here? Ooh, look, Christmas! It's Christmas time at Polonia Mall! Hooray! It happened again! I got warned by the boss just for gathering info. I was looking into Mr. Kirijo and Mr. Ikutsuki's relationship and the boss called me off. I asked him why, and all he gave me was the usual bull about not complaining. But this pattern is similar to the Gek I'm pretty sure I read this actually. I just started realizing that. Uh, what are you two talking about? My eldest is having his exam soon. The atmosphere at home is very tense now. Even I get tense, remembering the time I, when I took my own exams. I took my kid to the Iwatodai strip mall and we had lunch together at Wakatsu. My husband saw an ad for them that talked about young prodigies or something. I don't know if my kid got smart from eating the meal, but on the other hand, he did pass the exam. That's just mumbo-jumbo. Food doesn't make you pass. Mm -hmm. Let's talk to the old man on the bench, maybe. See what he's saying. On New Year's, I always get together with my old school friends for some sake. But every year, a few more of them don't show up. It can't be helped at my age. They're dead, aren't they? It's probably because of the holiday season, but it's so noisy here. I can't concentrate. My coins! Okay. He's the kid who likes to go to the arcade, I guess. Let's take a look at Port Island Station at Christmas. Unless nothing changes. But that's what I'm going to figure out. Hmm, just two people on the bench. Love won't blossom if you just wait for it to happen. If you want to get to know someone better, you have to be more aggressive. He's the straightforward type, right? So our relationship hasn't grown even a little. But I don't mind, really. And what do you want? What was I thinking? Even if it seemed like a good chance, I can't believe I actually said that. But I can't let things stay the way they are forever. Eh, they're in a rut. Leave them be. Are you feeling better? E apparently you are, but you're not gonna leave. I heard the Gekko Khan class trip was, was the other day. School life, I get a little jealous. It puts me in the mood to watch those teeny bopper love flicks. Whatever happened to the, that genre of movies anyway? They suck, that's what happened. No one cares about TD Bopper romances. Of course people do, or else they wouldn't make money, but they do make money. Uh, let's try around here, maybe. I'm not saying I'm gonna find anything, but... Just to look around. Yeah, I know what he means. You can't get anywhere these days without seeing those weird flyers. What's up with that shit? It doesn't look like any rival gang sign I know of, but... Don't you think stuff has been kinda messed up these days, dude? Like the apathy syndrome thing, it just keeps getting worse and worse. Can I go back down here or not? It's just dark down there. And you, cigarette smoke. Will you must have the courage to enter? 
Sure. What will I get if I do that? The tile? Two men are leaving. I lost it all, man. Come on, kid. Give me some luck. Oh, a Mahjong tile. Oh, I see. No, don't say a word. Ready. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, uh, scissors? Hmm? I won, I won. I still have some luck left. I'm gonna go place another bet. I'll win back everything I lost. Be beat it, kid. This place is for adults only. Alright, somebody tells me I gotta beat rock, paper, scissors to uh, get that tile. Alright, let's try this again. Rock? What? I lost? I guess my luck has dried up. Thanks, kid. You made me realize that gambling is a lost cause. Starting today, I'm stopping cold turkey. Here's a little something to say thanks. Anyway, you shouldn't be hanging around a place like this. Now, beat it! Obtain Mahjong tile. Oh, there you go, Mahjong tile. I didn't even know what type of tile they were talking of. I thought maybe like a floor tile. Yeah, that's stupid. But a Mahjong tile. Well, I got that. The only thing I've ever gotten on my own, I think, at this rate. Well, let's go give that in then. I actually never expected that. I, I just completely forgot about that place. Oh well. I got the courage to go in, get a Mahjong tile after beating some guy at rock, paper, scissors. It's the only thing so far I figured out on my own. With no one telling me. Alright then. That Mahjong tile you're carrying, it's just what I requested. It has such a lovely design on it. It's a game piece, is it not? I truly appreciate your efforts, thank you. And my reward was Berserker Seal. I'm pretty sure I don't need it. Anything else here requests? How many are there? Like a hundred or something? Yeah, again, I, I could do that on my own. Maybe I will go to Tartar's Safe for a heck of it and do some of this stuff. I'd like to try sushi. I've heard there's a food in your world called sushi. I'd like to try it someday. And a scrub brush. Okay. Well, there must be a place to find sushi. And I have an idea about that, but I'll figure it out. Sushi. Well, the best place I could think of is Iwatodai. That's where all the restaurants are. Is there a sushi bar of some sort? I was going to go to Iwatodai anyways. I'm visiting all the places on this Sunday. Getting close to Christmas. Getting close to New Year's. How much time do I have left to do anything? That's uh, something I'll have to figure out. This is the only logical place to find sushi, really. Um, I don't really need to talk to anyone here. Okay, sushi. I don't know of any sushi places, but there's got to be one somewhere. I don't think school sells sushi. That's probably stupid. What do we got? Sweet shop. Hagakure. Wakatsu. Uh, what's up here? Book on. Where are you? Beef bowl. I don't know. Let's see. It's too crowded in there, apparently. I probably need to get something in here eventually. Okay, so I'm assuming that a lot of these stores, well, some of them are going to be, like, Wakatsu. Nah. I don't need to increase my academics. I actually said that. Agakure, I doubt. Checking every sh It wouldn't be the sweet shop. That's just stupid. What about the takoyaki place? Would that have sushi? Interesting question. Do you sell sushi of some sort? Meh, no. Not Wild Duck Burger. I'd be very surprised if that was true. Nothing in here. Getting cold. I could just go inside, but I wonder about him. I heard there's a lot of warm places around here, but is he really going to be okay? This cat? Mew. Cat sitting very still with squinted eyes. Is that something I'm going to need to do eventually? Hmm, hmm, sushi. So far, I, I can't believe sushi's going to be this hard to find, apparently. 
I mean, when I think about it, the only other... Wait, no! I'm an idiot! There's a sushi bar, you idiot! Idiot, idiot, idiot! How did you forget about it? Ah, oh, Port Island, here I come again. It's not Iwatoda, it's Port Island! You just forgot exactly where to go for it. It's down here in this crappy area again. Same place I got the Queen Elizabeth. I just realized what I'm doing. That's a sushi shop, not a bar. There we go. Oh, a shop bar. Wait, I thought it was a sushi bar. Oh, it's just a regular bar. What about you, Mahjong? You sell? No. Oh, okay, then. Maybe I made a mistake. No, there is no sushi here. I thought... Shot bar. Why do I think you were a sushi bar? Whatever. Uh, okay, fine. Apparently sushi is going to be really hard to find. Surprisingly. The only food place I could think of didn't have it. Hmm. Well. Maybe I can get it from a person. Didn't really tell me where to get it per se. I'll think about it. For now, I guess we'll go to Naganaki Shrine. Maybe my doormates will have one somehow. Alright, let's just visit him for now. But I'm probably gonna get generic soon. I don't have a persona that's good for him. Depends on the music. Man, we get no generics with him. I'm still writing more of my story. How much did I tell you about? Oh, right. The pink alligator and the bird that had become friends, right? This was the alligator's first friend, and he was very happy. They started going to the river every day, and the little bird would sing while the alligator listened. But again, the alligator couldn't catch food easily because of his color. Pink is such an odd color. His prey in the jungle saw him from far away and had plenty of time to escape. He became so hungry that he was dizzy most of the time, and he accidentally ate the bird one afternoon as it slept in his mouth. Of course, he realized his mistake immediately. He drank swamp water to induce vomiting, but the bird was already dead when he retrieved it. After that, he couldn't bring himself to eat anything. That's as far as I've written. I haven't decided on an ending. That was really depressing. Uh, that's a really good story. You really think so? Maybe you enjoy the final product. I always thought the only thing I could give other people was hopelessness, but maybe... So before I mentioned I was writing a diary, that was a lie. I was writing my will. I couldn't face reality, and I was essentially screaming curses into my notebook. But for now, I'm writing my story in the same notebook. It probably isn't very good, but it contains some things that I've learned during my short life. When it's done, I want you to read it. I mean, meeting you is the main reason I started writing it. Man, we're advancing pretty quickly for the fact that I don't even have a persona with him. Now that I think about it, he won't necessarily die if I talk to him now that I'm looking at how the story's going. At best, what'll happen is, you know, he'll just say he'll live the rest of his life for in more happiness. I'm really trying to come up with a good ending, but I can't decide. I don't have much time to spare. Well, thanks. I hope that we can chat some more later. Man, I, this is the fastest I've ever done a social link without having any generic meetings. I've already got up to seven. I know it's because I spend less... Hi, how is your day? Okay, nothing. I don't know if it's because I... I, I talk to him more closer together than some of the others where I'll go in, like, weeks with gaps. It's not like me to just to give up. I've made up my mind. I'm going to fight to the end. I don't know if I talked to you about that already. I have no choice but to go on. The answer was in front of me the entire time. If I do not come back, then someone else will have to take over the company. Although, I have every intention of returning. That's fine. Uh, do I really want to speak to the others? They're probably still the same thing. So, let's go do another social link. That's really the only thing I can do these days. Not much else. Now that I think about it, the only other place that might resemble... Okay, it doesn't resemble a sushi place, but... The only place that could have any sort of food would be the club over here. 
over here where the monk would be. I'm not saying that's true, but I'm just making wild guesses here. Because, I mean, maybe they'll sell some sort of food. Okay, they'll just hire me if he needs an extra hand. Not much else going on. I tell you, this is probably one of the most boring bars I've ever seen. Or nightclub. Oh, it's you. Sure, I'll spend some time with Mutatsu. Hey, what a strange kid. I'm gonna keep coming back, old man. You feel your friendship? Wow. That was fast with him. The dying kid goes up super fast. This guy goes super slow, apparently. I don't know if it's the nature of the social link. Like, some will go faster because of the type of social link we have. Since Mutatsu's an old grumpy man, it takes uh, a while to break into him. I notice we have Wednesday off. Exam results will be posted today. I guess my goal now will be to try and finish off with Fuka. And then try Yukari and then get to Mitsuru. Alright, let's see my results. I guess I wouldn't be surprised if they were good mainly because my academics are super high. Not that it does anything for me these days. The only time I was able to get something was from the first one, Mitsuru. But I didn't do good enough. You scored the highest in your class. Everyone is looking at you with respect. You suddenly remembered something. Mitsuru promised to give you a gift if you scored the highest. Lunchtime is almost over. Decided to go back to your classroom. Oh. She gave me a, she was gonna give me a gift if I scored the highest, which means that it was building up to this point. Because it was almost impossible to get that early on. Oh boy. Right, let's begin. Toho Kami e Mitama. Today we'll finally talk about magic right here in Japan. Though I'm sure you think you're familiar with it already, you probably aren't. The view that magic is a dubious subculture is becoming more common. But what is swept into the corners of society today was once central to Japan. It could even be said that magic was invented in Japan. Probably not, you're just lying because you're trying to pander to your Japanese audience because your, this game is made in Japan. After all, Himiko of Yamataikoku was a shaman. She re reportedly used magic called Kido to control the country. Sadly, we have no way of knowing what kind of sorcery that was. The same is true for Prince Shotoku, who established a centralized government. He practiced on Miyodo, so in a sense he was also a shaman. With origins like this, magic was naturally woven into the very fabric of Japan. In the Heian period, for example, the Bureau of Onmyo on was established for Onmyoji to expel evil spirits and give spiritual advice. You may be familiar with that form, uh, with that from the legend of Abe no Simei. Even in the age of the samurai, magicians played their part. Many generals who studied divination and military tactics could be considered magicians. Are you all listening? Don't become mesmerized now. <laughs> I'll test you to see how close you've been paying attention. Get it wrong and you'll hear more taboo phrases. Toho kami yami Yeah, yeah. I don't remember. What sorts of was you had to use? Kido. Very good. Thank you, Kotodama, for that one. The trend of trying magic, of tying magic to the people continued in the Edo period, but the new government formed during the Meiji Reformation stamped it out. Tsuchi Mikado Shinto, which had been revived during the Edo period, faded away. Oh, good, he's gone. Now we're getting into the samurai magic. Mr. Ono would be proud. Do I see Mitsuru now or not? Because, like I said, I want to kind of see Fuka. But, uh. She's supposed to give me something by. Oh, wait, I can't see Fuka anyway. She's not here. Well, then I'll go see Mitsuru and see if she says anything about the exam. If not, then maybe I'll just hang out with her. Uh, yeah, I think it's this way. And Mitsuru isn't actually here even to begin with. Okay, so then I'll hang out with you, Carrie. I guess I gotta talk to Mitsuru after school. Well, after, after, after school, like at the dorm. And I know you Carrie's available, so I'll talk to her then. See where her story's heading out. 
watch her fall in love with me like Fuka is right now. Um, it'll be pretty awkward in the dorm, won't it? Hey, you carry. Hey, Chuckkin. Are you busy? I thought we could talk for a while. She's anxious. That must be something will happen. Thanks. Now she's relieved. Can we, can we go to the rooftop? I don't even remember which level I am with her, but I've got to be at least at six. A gentle breeze is blowing. Hey, do you remember when those guys stole my wallet and you came to help me? Um, sorry I got mad at you. I don't like having to depend on other people. I want to be able to take care of it myself, but I ended up needing your help. I never told you this, but I was really glad you came. I don't think I could say this to anyone else, Chuck-kun. Thanks for your help back then. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you too. How about that? Haha, <laughs> what are you thanking me for, Chuck-kun? Ah, oh, we've grown much closer, apparently. Alright, let's see which level this is now. What would Mitsuru give me anyway? Level, oh, we just reached level 6. Seems like things are getting serious with Yukari. She might get upset if you go out with another girl. Whew, that's a big weight off my shoulders. Wow, it's getting late. Decided to go back to the dorm. It better not be you, you carry. It better not be you. Oh, you piece of crap. Today is December 21st. There are less than 10 days until New Year's Eve. But for some reason, I'm not scared at all. Well, maybe I'm a little scared. But I'm still going to fight. Win or lose, I'm going to give it my all. Why is it every time I hang out with one of these girls, they always are the ones who greet me back? And how come they're still separate all the time? Ever s whatever. It's through. I have no choice but to go on. The answer was in front of me the entire time. If I do not come back, then someone else... Um, where's my thing? I got high. Did I miss it now? You weren't there. You weren't in your normal spot. Don't change things on me. My exam grades were what I expected, so I feel relieved. Now, what should I do for Christmas? What are you going to give me? Uh, unless she gives me it later? It's not like me to just give up. Yeah, yeah. How about you two, or you three, actually? Christmas is almost here. You excited for it? Sure am. Cool, let's enjoy Christmas. Alright. I don't care how I did all ex the exams. I have such hard decision to make. My teachers used to tell me not to worry about test scores. This is what they must have meant. That's because you're good at sports or something, so you'll get a scholarship anyway. So much is going on, I almost forgot about Christmas. Okay, yeah, I already read you. Let's see here, you want to go? Yes, he does. Mitsuru will go with me! This must be it! Go together! This, I, I thought that was a possibility. We just look at him and then they act like we've been uh, doing stuff. Kamaru looks happy when he comes here. I think I'll make this a regular stop on my own walks. This has to be it. I, it may not be appropriate to mention this, but... It's almost Christmas. And, well, do you... It's nothing. Forget I said anything. I spoke quietly with Mitsuru. Oh, I thought this would have been it. Welcome back. You seem to have enjoyed yourself out there. Let's head back. Okay, I thought that was going to be it, but instead she wanted to ask me something about Christmas. Probably to hang out or something. Regardless, I have Wednesday off. Keeps improving. I should go get sick and see if I get the medicine. Alright, morning time. Oh, are you again? It's chilly today. Aeth Gadol Leolum. I don't feel like reading those things anymore. Miss Onishi left early, so I'll be teaching today in her place. I think today we'll learn about near-death experiences. There are no real reasons for it. They've just been on my mind. 
Now, a near-death experience is defined as something that an individual experiences just before death. It, it is, is a true insight into the, the afterlife, or simply a trick of the brain? Opinions vary, but it is true that near-death experiences have been a hotly debated topic for some time. There are a few surviving records of ancient near-death experiences. According to the writings of Plato, a uh, resuscitated soldier experienced the afterlife as a spirit. A similar incident was reported in Japan by ethnologist Kunio Yanagita in the Tono Monogatari. Phys psychologist Carl Jung wrote that in his own near-death experience, he saw a vision of the Earth from afar. I'm sure you've heard your own stories from famous or infamous individuals. I have a few first-hand reports with me today. Let me read some of them. I feel as if my soul was detached from my body, or detached from my body. I met a friend who had already passed away. I saw my whole life flashing before my eyes. I saw the most brilliant light. I was bathed in light. I experienced complete and total happiness. This is called euphoria. These kinds of reports are typical. Some have attempted to make direct recordings of near-death experiences. Research Kenneth Ring has tried to quantify near-death experiences with a weighted core experience index. Modern efforts have led to a new theory of near-death experiences which goes like so. If an individual who is dying denies that fact, he eventually realizes that death is a reality that he must accept and becomes angry. As a result, he'll try to do anything he can to extend his life, but the futility of this leads to depression. In the end, he accepts his fate. Although we may initially deny death, we'll accept it in the end. That's just how, hum how we humans are. Is everyone listening? It's not every day you'll hear a lesson like this, ee hee hee. How about this little test to prove you were listening? Get it wrong and memories of your life at school disappear. Who should I pick? Yeah, yeah, you know, it's me. What is the feeling of happiness and near-death experience called? Euphoria. Good work. That is, that is correct. You'll have a happy school life. Some people say near-death experiences wakes awakens one's higher consciousness. Whether or not that's true, there is an observ observably lower fear of death in those who have been through one. Perhaps this is because near-death experiences are surprisingly free of pain and suffering. But this is not to say I'd want any of you to seek one out. Use the time you have here wisely, okay? That is all for today. Class is dismissed. Okay. He's not teaching anything we can actually use. Near-death experiences. Up. Oh, someone wants to meet with me? Let's find out who it is. Could be... Well, 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 look who's coming to seek me out. What a coincidence. Well, since you're here, I'd like to ask you if you're free after school. I think I... I see. Well, I'd like for you to come with me somewhere. That is, if you're available. Just let me know. Alright, fine. She's the only one, especially. Yep, she's the only one. I shall go with her, then. That's the rule. Uh, I decide who I go with after school, unless they visit me first. If they made the effort to come to me, then I shall go with them. Carrie's not here anyways, and I don't know where Fuka went anyway. She hasn't been around in a while. Watch, she's here today. Uh, no. What, is she upset or something? What is she doing? I guess I'll go see Mitsuru and see if maybe she'll give me whatever it is that, for doing good in the exam. There she is. Who's that? Uh, just a stupid kid. Hey, Mitsuru. Jones, I saw your exam results. Good work. That's quite an accomplishment considering all you've had to do to juggle. Here's a reward for your hard work. Ten king card set. Uh, does that have anything to... Alright, this must be a key item or something. Uh, let's go to key. Or is it a regular thing? I guess it's a regular one. King card set. Um, what is a king card set anyways? I can't find anything that even... It doesn't appear to be here. I'm looking very quickly though, so maybe I missed it. Uh, I don't know if it's in here. King card set. I have no idea what it is I got even. I'm just looking and looking and looking. Huh. There's nothing I can equip, is there? Not at all. You know what? Forget it. 
I'll figure it out. Let's go talk to her. Jones, what a coincidence. Are you leaving now? It's just seems to be curious how you will react. Since you have yak yak seen me, so the Empress are can you should get along well with Mitsuru. Would you like to spend some time with her after school? Yes, I will. Okay, let's go. It's rare that I have any free time. Rare indeed. But we'll see what we can do. What are we going to go explore today that everyone else has already done? Well, well, well. Wild Duck Burger. I guess it's her first time in a burger shop as well. Interesting. So this is what it looks like inside. It's surprisingly small. It sort of seems nervous. Uh, is this your first time? Well, technically yes, but I did pass by here once with Akihiko. So I understand that you don't eat with utensils here. I must admit that I'm not very familiar with fast food etiquette. I'm glad you're here with me. Is it profitable to sell these items at such a low price? I'd be interested to know the average cost per unit. It sort of seems intrigued. Oh, sorry, I was lost in thought again. I didn't ask you, ask you here just to eat. I want to express my personal thanks to you. We're all facing a trial in the true sense of the term. And we've made it this far because we've been blessed with each other. And I, I admit that I've been hard on you much more than so than the others. But I just want you to know, I appreciate your contribution. She's depending on me and the relationship has grown. So that's basically it. I, you know, I may have mentioned this the first time I met with her. Is that she essentially, her problem is that she has no experience with anything. I figure she had no hobbies. Other than trying to see how she can make a profit off of everything. That's all she's done so far. Sue sort of thinks you're easy to talk to. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't realize it was so late. When I'm with you, time seems to pass so quickly. Unfortunately, I have another engagement. This was fun. We should do it again sometime. I'll apologize for the inconvenience. I'll see you later. She just leaves. After saying goodbye to Mitsuri, decided decide to return to the dorm. She just goes. That's it. Bye-bye. Hello, Komaru. No one else here. Hey, Mitsuru. I have no choice. Yada 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 yada. Same thing. Let's 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 save. Should I just go to Tartarus? I feel like I shouldn't be advancing too fast because then the game will be over. But that doesn't make any sense when I think about it. Actually, I thought I even saw. F oh yeah, yeah. Here's Fuka hanging around the tree. Um. Um. You know what? Let's go to Tartarus and see if I can get some quests done. I haven't done much anyways in Tartarus. Not that I've shown you guys. There's gotta be that sixth block. I know it exists because, um, there's music for it. Sorry, I just had to fix my headphones there. Anyway, um... Man, when are we getting Agus back? I know we're getting her back. Right, let's take you because I just talked to you. Um, you know, now that I think about it, the King Card set, the only thing that it could involve is either you or that stupid teacher. Uh, I don't even know what I'm doing here, actually. I just kind of came in. Do I have any of these... Uh, this is from the fourth block. This is from the first block. This is from the third. I had this one. Utenta Mitsuyo. Let's just take this one. Oh, I have too many requests. What do I have? Two gold medals, strong medicine, and sushi. Okay, this one might be good for Agus. That is, if I can get her back, and if it's even a good weapon. Can we check my weapons quickly and see if I have any of those in stock? Because maybe I do and I don't realize it. And let's see. Uh, equip quickly. I don't think I have any of them. Probably not. Well, anyway, I got Mitsuru. Uh, how about Koromaru? And you carry. 
because I I can I can fill in for uh, Akihiko, and uh, Ken's okay, but I don't need him. Okay, we need to go to the fifth block. So we'll start here, and let's go see if I can find those uh, rare enemies. That's my whole per oh yeah, I got a hammer on me right now. And with Thor it like makes it more powerful. I have no idea when the next block will be opening up, but it'll probably happen at some point. Because there's a path that's blocked, meaning that we can continue. The only time I could think of it happening is after New Year's. So right now I'm just gonna kind of wander around, maybe beat some enemies, but most of them try to find the gold ones. Like, those guys, I could just use, uh, Mazionga and probably kill most of them pretty good. Hey, I missed one! You see, they're weak. Very, very weak nowadays. Someone could just use, like, well, she's using Garudine, but your physical weapon probably would have worked just as well. Actually, it's weak against Garudine. I mean, I'll get some extra experience for this, but it's really hard to raise levels these days. Yes! My skill level has of course, she just increased out of nowhere. Um, I have to go up here, unfortunately. Oh, jeez! Why did I... Okay, I had trouble aiming that for some reason. Uh-huh. Well, at least they're weak. And at least I'm not weak to it. Aha. Uh -huh. I don't really know their weakness even. Let's just try this for the heck of it. Well, killed them. These guys aren't that strong anyways. They're kind of like lower tier enemies of the fifth block. I'm gonna get some money. Or not. How about you? Huh. Okay, fine. That chest. Ooh, look. Got a, oh, that's, I keep getting that one. I don't really get that much variety these days. I don't even feel like going to that chest. Useless. I'm looking for the gold enemies. I don't even know if I should just show the entirety of me looking or something. But I felt like I should just go to Tartarus to get some variety in. It's been a while. You know what? I okay, first of all, I did get this ability to ask Fuka to go down. I can now escape without any sort of access point. Anyways, now that I thought about it, the best place to probably get those enemies would be nearer to the top of the block. Near the end of it. Because I wouldn't have to travel as far and they respawn a lot faster after I beat them. So I'm going to do that a bit quickly and then I'll see what I do. Maybe I'll end it a bit sooner at Tartarus. And I'll look on my own a little bit for some stuff. The only quests I really need to show you me getting are the ones that really have an effect. Like, Elizabeth um, going and visiting places with me was kind of important to show. But things like getting those medals, I don't think they're really... Or the metal is not really important. Yeah, better just to see the dialogue, but the dialogue is nothing special anyway. Alright. There's a chest. Like I said, I'm just kind of going around these floors right now, I think. And I'm going to see if I can find that enemy. Maybe I'll spend a good 10 minutes in Tartarus. But Sura's good against them. And I got a critical. Not that it did much. I'm so slow with it when you think about it. That took quite a bit. And she'll probably kill them easily. There we go. Fine, we're all at it for the heck of it. Haven't all out in a while. Ah, there's nothing good here. I just skipped it all. And I got money. Nah, I don't wanna. No, I didn't wanna! Great. Uh, let's get uh, the weird looking one in the... Let's get you for the heck of it. Oh, I already have you. It doesn't matter. I didn't want to anyways. Alright, gold enemy. Any around here? So far, no. 
Where are you? Not a gold enemy. I still hit ya. What we got? You guys, I can easily kill ya. Just using my lightning. There we go. Great Let's try for the experience. There we go. It only gave me 655, not that much even. Still following me. There we go. I like how he kind of stops his tracks, and these guys are super easy. In fact, we're just gonna use a vicious strike. I mean, now they're pretty weak, so we can pretty much kill them all. Go, Koromaru! I think he's weakest physically, but since he's a dog, I guess it makes sense. There we go. That killed them. Got Sapphire. And Thor leveled up. Thor is definitely one of my best personas at this point. Alright, I'm going to quickly look around this floor again, see if anything else spawns up. There's another one, but the regular shadow. See if anything spawns up around here too. Um, I'm gonna look a little bit more, not too much more. Okay, let's go up to the next floor. I'm tired of this one. I think I only have this one, and then I'm at the end. All right, come on, gold enemy would be nice to have. I would need to be two because I need two of those. Of course not. I got hit. You are you and you and you. Oh crap, we can't spit through. Ow. Rakakuja, eh? Okay, let's uh, figure out a good way to tackle this then. I don't know, let's use Xyodyne on you. That did it. And then you can knock him down. And then you're gonna go back on... Oh, Mamudo. Maybe you'll do good with this. Well, on that one. Wind break. What does that do? Wind resistance nullified. Interesting. Gigantic fist on... Oh, Koromaru. Uh, well... Let's use Mediarama. Recover ourselves a little bit. Then she'll just use her uh, ice eventually. Doesn't really do much. Okay, now, you were resisting wind? Interesting. It definitely is an interesting attack if they are resisting it. I wonder if it works for all enemies, though. Okay, gold enemy. Of course not. It's just a single dude here. And the stairs are right there. Anything respawning back here? Not at this point. Don't know how long it takes to respawn an enemy, even. Let's try and just... bash him. I think I know what type of enemy this is, too. Uh, well... It nullifies ice, apparently, but... Who says I can't use Zyodyne on it? To almost kill it. And then she'll just slash it. Alright, any other enemies spawning here? I know they do respawn. I've done it before on the same floor over and over again. Especially on these small ones. There's one. That got a lot in there, too. I'm definitely going to end it soon, though, I think. Oh, I can kill this easily. Here we go. There we go. One shot. Shovel time, if I get the experience, should give me quite a bit. It should at least give me a good... Ooh, 1300. That's cool. Anyone level up? Nope. Alright, one more time I'm going to look for the enemy. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, 
after this one uh, one more time. It came sooner than I expected. In fact, let's just do this. Oh, he got me. Well, kind of, but... Oh, I could do this anyway. These guys seem to be very common. Okay, now the next enemy will be the last one, and then I'm going to climb up. Let's do the recovery one. Oh, I'll try. I don't know here. Give me a weapon. I do not want to double up. Composite bow. Alright. He leveled up. Now the last enemy I'll try it out on. If it's not the gold one right away, I'm just gonna leave. Nope, it's not the gold one. Unless I hit one right now. But I feel like it's not gonna be the gold one anyways. I'll probably end this part and go to Tartarus on my own. It'll make me tired at least. Well, actually, tomorrow's the day off. Yeah, I'm still at the end of this block with no end in sight. I mean, I'm not sure. The only thing I can think of is after New Year's is when I'll be able to pass it. So I'm going to return. And I don't feel like doing much else in this part, really. Because I want to do some Tartarus on my own and get some other stuff. So that's it for this part. I'll see you next time where I'll meet you here basically after doing my own round of Tartarus for some stuff I missed. Complete as many of the quests as I can. And next time we'll get close to New Year's but we might not reach it. We'll see. See you next time.